Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Repentance. I've been playing a little bit less of this this week than usual, and, and honestly playing a little bit less than I'd like. So I'm trying to remember where we're at, oh, and I'm realizing now, almost the only things left to me, at least on post-it notes, are engineered to make me upset. <laughs> I think that, that Tainted Bethany, she's one away, which to me seems, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. We'll give it a try. Uh, it is, uh, it's early here, it's literally, I, I pulled in to work 9.01 a.m. on a Friday, TGIF everybody, hope you're having a, hope you had a good week, hope you're set up for a good weekend, not really, uh, big plans over here, which you would expect, I, I, I've realized as well, like, you know what my weekend plans are, the only thing on the docket, ex I mean, look, okay, Here's, here's how my brain works. First thing I think of is, yeah, we'll, you know, mop and vacuum. No question there. Then after that, I gotta remember, it is, it, it's an other week. Which means we're gonna do a little bathroom cleaning. So that's, and, and you might think that that's boring. Oh, but isn't this the, I, on the, on the sixth day, you're supposed to play 12 hours of Civilization Six or something like that. Um, well, you know, I'm not gonna say no to it, but. I, I, I have Civilization VI on the Nintendo Switch. At one point in the future, I'll, I don't know when, but I'll take a flight. The flight is good. I'm, I'm looking forward to the dopamine. Let me put it that way. I'll put on a movie. And I will also play um, the best part of Civilization VI, which, in my opinion, is like um, a first play session of indeterminate length. If I ever have to reload a Civ game, I'm like, nah, man, because look at all these mistakes I made yesterday when I was younger and dumber. Now, I would just like to start again, and this time, you know, it's going to be perfect from now on, like built to spill. And then rinse and repeat that, and you realize, I think I've literally completed like one game of, of Civilization six in my entire existence, and that was uh, on YouTube. Dan's Lost Coin. The Belt. The belt. Um, we got we got an issue here. We want to go true ending. We didn't get a single key. We don't have any bombs to manifest into other keys. Uh, and our only item is actually now pretty good. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. We'll at least peep the shop and see what's up there. You never know what you might get out of it. We only need, you know, a bomb or three cents. It's not going to happen, but we'll try uh, next floor, I suppose. Oh, there's one more room left. Hold on now. Little Chad, by the way, I know it's not good um, from the perspective of giving us HP. It's good from the perspective of essentially giving us more charge uh, for uh, Lemmington here, which I think is a, a big part of our ability to succeed. Anyway, I'm. what I was going to say is I'm, I'm not knocking the... Uh, the chore weekends for one like the, and i'm not sure if it's the older i get the the more time of my life i've spent online or the more online i get as a result of you know my profession um but i really come to see literally having a great excuse to log off from the internet as being like guaranteed meditation one way or the other whether it's you know baking bread cooking dinner or you know scrubbing the toilets with the podcast on like i i look forward to it so you know you self-care in that sense you know you got to clean porcelain throne and also you know maybe you laugh a little bit uh, over the over the course of the chore as well apart from that usually i'm like oh it's the weekend that means i can watch loki which is like different than it's the weekend there's a new episode of loki because i'm pretty sure those come out on like tuesdays at midnight <laughs> But you know, we got a lot of uh, domestic responsibilities throughout the week. On the weekend, being able to sneak in a single episode of Loki, that's what we're talking about. Okay, Mini Mush has shown up. And things pop up, man. Like, I, oh man, let me tell you. Best part of the weekend for me, apart from just, you know, the requisite family time, is uh, the plethora of lunch options. I know I've said it before. 
But I love, uh, I, I love the lunch draft, you know? That, that, in the same way that I, I talk, like, endlessly about how, like, the best part of a bag of potato chips is after you open it bef before you eat the first one, because the expected future returns of the potato chip bag is at its highest, and yet you've also experienced some of that anticipatory joy. Um... That's kind of how I feel about, like, a Saturday lunch. Is like, right now, I'm, I'm almost at... It, it's Friday morning at 9.06 a.m., and I'm almost at peak enjoyment of Saturday's lunch. How does that make sense? Because right now I exist in, like, a, a, a quantum uncertainty principle um, where I, I'm simultaneously eating lunch everywhere right now because it hasn't come to pass yet. I'm imagining what a Montreal smoked meat sandwich with some tart yellow mustard would taste like. I'm imagining um, a delicious, delicate sushi. Or you know what? What about a little deep-fried sushi as well? You, while, while we exist in this, uh, this realm, we can do as we please. We can, we can live out our fantasies. Now, much of the time do I end up uh, you know, just getting like a, an easy sandwich or something like that? Yeah, it's been known to happen. I should not have spent that key, by the way. <laughs> we can walk on the spikes to try to get to uh, the chest to possibly get a key. But at some point, you, you do have to be like, come on. You know, like, we, we have to get items at some point in, in order to have a chance to succeed on this run. So I don't really feel too bad about using a key to get to an item room. If I had used the key to, you know, just for no reason open a bunch of golden chests or something like that, I, I could feel differently about it, but to open an item room, man, that's like, you know, it's, it's par for the course. I really don't want it. Um, I, I mean, I'd love to get the deal with the angel, let's put it that way. So this will determine whether or not this run becomes a, a restart, unfortunately. Uh, and it still is ongoing. We're not sunk yet. With two bombs, we're not sunk yet. Definitely, I, I think I want Lemmington on this one. I'm just thinking. I, I'm going to go to our curse room. This is not necessarily the smartest idea. because I mean, I, Keep in mind, by the way. The bone heart is like, it, it lies to you. And what do I mean by that? Well, a, a single bone heart. Man, that is so good. Um, doesn't really matter that much as a character like that i feel like this can't be a secret room am i am i right or am i wrong like because of those spikes i i don't know man but i'm gonna give it a try yep okay all right i mean as a uh as a character that that predominantly is just rolling spirit hearts slash like exclusively can roll spirit hearts like what what are you what are you supposed to do with the bone heart? All right, well, that's cool. Um, it is my fault for having used the key in the first place, but, you know, it is one of those things where you're like, mm, I'm not going to take too much of an L for that one. That was, every once in a while, you know, the, the Wheel of Fortune wheel spins to bankrupt, and you just go, eh, you know, what, what can you do? I had to spin. I had 250 bucks on the board. They don't even pay for your flight out to California anymore, so I, at, at this point, I was still in the hole. Anyway. I love, I love the idea of a quantum lunch superposition. <laughs> right now, I'm eating fried chicken. I'm at Subway. I'm at the Olive Garden. The beauty is I've never even eaten at the Olive Garden. I don't know why people assume, by the way... Pe people hold the most, myself included, the most unhinged biased like personal beliefs about things uh and i recognize that i know that because they can't help themselves but from uh letting some of that spill over to the people that they watch on youtube and twitch by tweeting them absolute insanity now and then uh but then when i say something like i really think the best potato chip is like the zero with chip because you get that anticipation people assume i'm doing bad faith trolling it's not the case it, it, I, I, the more I've thought about it, the more I, I've realized that that is kind of like an encapsulation of my philosophy on a lot of things. It's also an encapsulation of like my philosophy on like uh, how people feel about video games. 
I always talk about how, like, if, if you were to chart public sentiment about a video game, it peaks, like, at announcement or maybe a week before the game actually comes out. It's at its lowest, like, you know, once the, once the festivities subside and rational thought comes back in and, and you realize, like, this is no longer, uh, like, a life-changing experience, it's just a toy. That's where people start to go, wait a minute. This isn't gonna save my life. And then, the, you know, the anger sets in. What the heck, Ubisoft? I thought this game was gonna save my life. I, I can relate. It might seem like I'm, I'm from my ivory tower. I'm, like, punching down. It's not the case, I promise you. The, your mind plays tricks on you for in situations like this, you know? You're like, you know what? I'm having, like, an okay day. But you know what would really make this day better? An eighth of a second where my brain perceives me as eating a Dorito. Like, the... And, and what's worse is that I don't I, I will go to bed feeling like this day was a little bit of a wasted opportunity if I don't get to eat the uh, pounded corn flour dusted with spicy cheese salt. And then, you know, you, you, you put the Dorito in your mouth and you're like, what the heck? It's literally just like the briefest uh, hint of dopamine. Oh, does that mean you don't want more? Shut up, I didn't say that. I mean, how many more are you going to give me? But may maybe this next one, you know. If I keep keep searching for happiness at the bottom of a Doritos bag, maybe I'll find it one day. Okay, I don't know what our HP looks like, but we did get squeezy. So it's plausible that it's good, but I'm, I'm a big deal with the... Uh, I'm a big deal with the angel guy. I'm changed. I'm different now. Let's see what's going on in the uh, item room. Brother Bobby, kind of doo-doo. Uh, decap attack. No thanks. I actually, I, I prefer to caffeinate right now, if you don't mind. Don't forget the red hearts. People, people will lose their freaking minds. So am I suggesting, like, and, and I know how this is going to come across. And this is something I have to ask myself to challenge my own belief, okay? If you work a traditional work week, like I'm kind of on now, not a traditional job, I guess, but a traditional work week, is the logical extension of my ridiculous belief that the best part of the weekend is actually Friday's work day? Because you get... The, the entire weekend is before you, and yet to, you get to... Uh, actually like it's twofold and i know you're like please talk about something else bro you've been watching the news there's nothing else to talk about but uh it's it's two things it's one that like anticipation is uh you know it, it's enjoyable to to look forward to something like when you have a vacation coming up maybe you're going to a convention or something like that you know in the month or months leading up to it you're like, this is, uh, I'm so looking forward to it. Like, oh yeah, today sucked at work, but you know, in July I'm going to Emerald City Comic Con, so it's all okay. And then secondarily, there's almost like, I, I'm thinking of it from like a calculus standpoint, you know, that uh, the, the entire value of the thing that you're looking forward to is still in front of you. Things, and don't get me wrong, I love a Saturday, but what's the worst part of the weekend for most people? It's a Sunday. Why would a Sunday be the worst part of the weekend? Because there's less left. So if we're all more or less in agreement with the idea that the enjoyment of a weekend goes down as the amount of time that is left goes down, then surely there must be some kind of proportionality to the idea that the more that is left, the, it carries an inherent enjoyment. And you never get more of the weekend left than around 10.30 a.m. on a Friday. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if people are gonna follow me all the way to that one, but but I I tried at least. Yo, is good. All right, so we we are still lacking a bomb, but that's okay. I do kind of want to try to get into the boss trap room, but I'm not gonna. What I will do is uh, see what's going on in here. Nice little break even, more than break even. Okay, just need to get to the fire now. This this runs popping. 
Some of the pop is related to Lemmington items that we can't uh, guarantee will stay here forever, but that's okay. By the way, I apologize um, if you uh, hear some brrrr in the background. Hey, Tomo, it's okay, buddy. You're okay. I apologize if you hear some brrrr in the background for the last two days. Uh, our neighbor has been engaging in the pursuit of leisure concrete drilling. I know it's not for leisure. It, it must be for something. But the fact that it's taking uh, so long is... It, it leads me to believe they are deriving some pleasure from it. Let's just put it that way. What are they doing? I, I don't know. And that's what makes it... I mean, it's more frustrating, right? When you don't know... I, I really... And I'm not saying, like, I would have done this either. Go around and tell everybody, like, Hey, just so you know, if you hear some noise, it's because I'm setting up, like, a gas heat lamp on my patio. But I think it... The, the human brain, or at least my human brain, um, it gets aggravated by uncertainty, right? Like, I always think, you know, you're, you're always hungrier if you don't know what time dinner's gonna be at. Because you got that, it, that specter of uncertainty hanging over your head, right? Whereas, uh... If you know, hey, dinners is 6.30 p.m. every day, when it hits 6.05, if you're hungry, you don't go like, this is an outrage. You go, that's fine. Just 25 minutes till I get to eat. Please, just let me get a bomb, man. Like, I'm, I'm happy with that, but... Hey, Tomo. Hey, Tomo. Um, we, we can always just go to our shop, I suppose. I just did, you know, it's, it's a little insulting to have to do it. I guess we can just fly and get that bomb. No, wait, was that a... I thought that was a troll bomb. Maybe, maybe yes, maybe no. I don't know. My, my head's not totally in the game, but we're playing a... We're doing well, don't get me wrong. Yeah, we'll just fly over that. Okay, one moment. I have some Discord messages. <laughs> I, have a, I have a message from my good friend Ross Boomsocks. Hey, man, are you around? In 45 minutes, I have a 10K Tetris tournament. I am learning how to T-spin. It is going horribly. Are you available at the worst notice possible to help my a ape brain figure this out? Okay, let's do this live. T-spin, explanation, images. Okay. I can do my best. What you're... Uh, let me... I'm trying to find a good image on Google Images for this. I apologize for YouTube, but it, it'll... This is funny. I think it's a good bit. Ross Boomsocks, great League of Legends gamer. Um, okay, I can do my best. Is it okay if I call you? I'm live commentating this Discord DM while recording an Isaac episode. Lol, with a colon so that it makes an emote. So I will give you the cliff notes. N on text, sorry. So I, I'm sending him an image first. So the very basics, you look, if possible, you create a T-spin, a, a T-shaped hole in your board, like the board on the left here, and then you place a piece so there's an overhang of one block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, you would drop the T-piece down, facing the left, and rotate it right as it lands to squeeze it in. It does take some practice. I struggled with it for a long time. Honestly, if you have 45 minutes to go until a tournament, it's worth learning, but you'd probably also improve your play just as much by eating a cupcake or something 15 minutes before it starts. LOL. <laughs> okay, I apologize, but that's, that's funny. That's Ross is, uh, Ross is a good guy, funny guy, League of Legends. He taught me how to play League of Legends. 
set up a great environment that was very not representative of the overall macro climate of uh, League of Legends. What do I mean by this? Um, he he set up like a padded room for me to have a lot of fun in, and then and I'm not blaming him. I'm, I actually this is meant in an adulatory sense, um, an adulatory sense. Sorry, I was that word did not sound right to me. Um, but then when I played some solo queue, I went everybody that plays the well, not everybody, but and I hear this from my wife too because she's playing League now and then. Um, at least. 15% of the people you come across in League of Legends uh, should be in prison. If not for the safety of other people, for the safety of themselves. Um, and uh, I, I will always be forever grateful to Ross for insulating me from that in the, in the League of Legends world. The League of Legends universe. Um, I appreciate it. So the least I could do is give him an absolutely horrible explanation of what a T-spin is. I would I, honestly, I gave him some images. I'm not saying he's gonna figure it out, but it's mostly because it's kind of you know, my my advice on on T-spinning is uh, uh, excuse me, Tomo, you can't be up on the desk, my man. You can't be up on the desk. He's, he's going loco. My advice on on T-spinning is that. You know, it's like studying for, um, like, a programming exam. It's it's a really hard thing to just, like, you know, hey, in 15 minutes I'm going to look up what a T-spin is and then just do it. You really got to get some practice, like, with the, you know, how it feels in a, in a live environment. Not that I'm a Tetris expert to begin with. Also, I'm, I'm going to push back on myself. My explanation was actually good. I just wanted to say that it was bad to protect me from the possible criticism that you always get as, as somebody giving advice that like, oh, actually, like, your advice was bad. I, I'm aware of the fact I'm an effective communicator, okay? I'm not going to be needlessly diminutive to protect myself from the slings and arrows of uh, Kirk Van Houden's worldwide. It's dignity! How can you not see that? All right, this run is is actually, I mean, it's a slapper right now. At some point, I mean, even if we lose our uh, like Tech X, for example, it would hurt. Don't get me wrong. What? Oh, familiar. All all shops have familiars, and they're cheaper because of adoption papers. That's right. Um, even if we lose Tech X, I still feel like we're in a a, a really okay spot. Um. I have no problem buying both of these, actually. We'll probably get conjoined, and I assure you I would rather, um, probably rather not, um, just because it, it carries a, a potential benefit, but a guaranteed cost. But still, I'm, I'm certainly not, uh, help. Oh, come on. I mean, that's one of those times, I'm, I'm not mad like, oh, that's outrageous, but... I think we, we literally could not dodge that past a certain point there. Yo, just be dead. Okay, saved. Deal with the angel exists. Thank you for the meat. Scapular, not so sure. But we'll, we'll try to keep our... Uh, keep the angel statues coming. The fact that we have guaranteed booger tears uh, is amazing. And guaranteed rotten baby as well. Tech X, like, it's not long for this world, so don't get too uh, attached to it. <laughs> our, our stats will look a lot worse once we have to start uh, bailing on that, but... But yeah, I stand by what I said earlier. Before I get into that, hold on, let me... I've got seven replies. Absolutely brutal, but not untrue. I played 20 hours of the game just to practice stacking Tetrises. The organizers reassured me nobody in the tournament was good at it. Then you have one guy doing donuts around the parking lot. I don't understand the reference. It must be a European thing. Every other person is pulling kindergarten scores, but I'm in second place. That's how it always goes, right? Every casual tournament I've ever played in... I hype myself up and practice a lot thinking the other participants are gonna be lazy. Then I pull up to the tournament 
and one other person practiced even more than me and I go this is unfair <laughs> hey you, you know one thing I would I, I think I would never be accused of is having a lack of self-awareness I'm I'm cursed with the with the exact appropriate amount I think anyway uh, what was I oh I was talking about um, uncertainty I really believe that you know that that the like you get and this is just a microcosm of my larger point, I suppose. Um, help me. HP is a little, little suspicious here, but um, like when I was a kid, sometimes you get hungry, but you know the dinner time is at, uh, you know, the same time every day. It, although it did change years. Like when I when I was younger, um, you know, like the single digit age, I used to eat around six thirty. Then I became a teenager, and it was like six every day. Then this is for supper. Um, then uh, when I when I became an adult, my parents started eating dinner at like five thirty. Now um, my parents they're not they're not quite retired, but they're in their their mid fifties. Um, and when we go over to the you know when we're back in Ontario, they're they they do this and I don't I'm not a hater okay I understand it because you know who doesn't look forward to eating every single day It's one of the highlight one of the most consistent highlights one of the most reliable highlights on a daily basis is knowing that you know you got a delicious dinner coming your way so why stall um, But my my mom will do this thing where where she'll be like you know at like 8:55 a.m. she'll be like what time do you think you might want dinner tonight and I'll just go like, ah, oh, you know, the normal time, like maybe 5.30. And she's like, okay. Then around like 3, she's like, mm, I'm really looking forward to dinner. And I'm like, me too. It should be a good time. Uh, and then at like 4.45, she's like, uh, we got SciFly, by the way. She's like, oh, dinner's ready, by the way. And I'm like, yo, don't get me wrong. I'm mostly like pretending to be mad. I'm, I'm like, oh, that's not the time that I was told that it was going to be. But now I get to eat something delicious. Thank you, mom. If anything, well, like with the with the baby, our meals are are at strange times. I wouldn't say uh, you you have to look at this one. No, I mean I I get the idea behind Dark Bomb or even Demon Baby on this one, but I, I don't think it's the play. I think we we preserve our own HP and we're happy to have Red Hearts show up for Lemmington based purposes. Um, but either way, you know we, we I I. If you ask a hundred people what time dinner is at, you're gonna get a hundred different answers. I like to eat dinner around like 7.30. It, it completely depends. I don't think there's like a, an agnostic, like ideal dinner time, psychologically at least. I don't know, metabolically maybe there is, but. Well, that's it. I'm not mad in, in some ways, but uh, I, I'm like a 7.30 guy, okay? I finish my stream at around 4. I'm starving by the time I finish my stream. I'll eat a little something or sometimes more than a little something. I need time to digest that before dinner time comes to pass. I will say, by the way, hold on, we, we can totally pop this. I'm, I'm kind of enjoying... Um, that's fine. It's better than fine. Um, I'm kind of enjoying adoption papers here. We got a nice little suite of familiars, and it, it allowed us to get Sci-Fly. Just the increased chance of Sci-Fly showing up in your shop seems to be worth holding this trinket because it's like the best item in the game. Um, but I will say, last night I was kind of clowning on online uh, blog recipe comments. I looked up a recipe, it, like, so I've been cooking and, and enjoying it since we got off of HelloFresh. And it's so much better and cheaper. I'm not trying to dissuade you if you're with Blue Apron, HelloFresh, whatever. If it works for you and you like it, I'm not arguing with your experience. As somebody who, you know, learned to cook in a pre- and, and grocery shop, for that matter, in like a pre-HelloFresh uh, era, and moreover, like, goes to the grocery store at least four times a week just because, like, it's one of the only social gatherings you can go to in the middle of a global pandemic and also carrying a stroller. Uh... It's, uh, it, it, it no longer suited my needs and became much more of an inconvenience than a, 
than a benefit. Um, but anyway, my wife said to me, hey, it, it was almost like a video game. She was like, I, I'm in the mood for something hearty tonight and with potatoes. So my head instantly, I was like beef stew. Straight up, I was like chilies. And she was like, eh. Daryl, I named seven other restaurants. Mike, no. Finally, I suggested Taylor's, the place I knew she wanted to go anyway. And she said, if that's what you want. Anyway, the, um, this, this is a, a Key and Peele sketch. I, th this, that part did not happen. Everything else was completely true, though. Uh, yeah. Why not? So I go to Beef Stew. I, and I, I do what I normally do for recipes now, which is I Google uh, Instant Pot Best Beef Stew Recipe. And then rather than having uh, my meals be determined by whoever has, has the best food, they get determined by whoever has the best SEO, which I definitely think is uh, something worth considering in the future as maybe trying, <laughs> maybe trying to change that. But for now, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Um, and the comments for this stew, and I still disbelieve that the comments are real, just for the record. I still think, because some of the comments were like not um, specific enough. Like, what the, one of the comments I posted was like, holy moly, I followed the recipe as directed, and, you know, it was, it was good, not only if you want a quick meal, but also if you want a feast. And I was like, oh, thanks, Jamie, that could uh, describe essentially any recipe that's ever been invented. It's funny how it's so, like, nonspecific here, almost as if, like, they wrote the copy uh, in such a way that they could use it um, on multiple recipes without having to augment it. Okay, we we actually have lost Tech X now, so this is where things are going to start to get a little a little prickly. But we have some permanent items they can't take away from us. Anyway, so I was clowning on him. I, I believe I tweeted, "I wish I liked anything as much as uh, I wish I was Im as impressed by anything as this lady is by this beef stew recipe." Um, and and there was another one that was. My whole family went bonkers for this stew recipe. And I'm like, did they really? Did they did they really go bonkers? Or did they go like, oh, this is really good. Because bonkers is like... I mean, that's like you've literally lost your mind at that point. Anyway, then I gotta say, I made the recipe. It was super easy. I ate the recipe. It was delicious. And I have to say... I feel like I went a little bonkers. I'm I'm looking forward to having it again. It just goes to show you. Oh, Bozo. It's not a guy, it's Bozo. Bozo's doing the dub. Can you just like F off for a second here? Um Anyway, yeah, it was really good. What's the recipe? I don't even want to tell you, because first off, you can just find it on Google. But secondarily, it's like one of those things, like, do you really want the recipe? Like are you asking the recipe to cook it yourself, or are you asking to be like, oh, it just sounds like a normal stew lull, you know? Like, at no point do you, do you shave uh, fresh wasabi root into it or anything like that. You basically just chop a potato, uh, well, several potatoes, uh, an onion, some carrots. You, you get a, a, a good cut of beef, chop it up into cubes, and then you... you you know, some garlic, and you, you saute that son of a gun until the meat's all brown. Then you high pressure cook it in the Instant Pot for 35 minutes with some seasoning, and, you, and you're good to go. Robo Baby. Uh, Robo Baby had a, had a baby, it's a boy. We may die on this run. Right now, I think it's okay. But I. I'm and and we're not far from greatness. But a, a loss is definitely possible. Oh yeah, what am I thinking there? Um oh right, 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 right. We can't really get to these. Uh a loss is definitely possible on this one. Which is uh it it would hurt. I'm I'm gonna pop this temperance card, don't sweat that. But we should also keep in mind 
really were only one... Like, it, it, the same way we lost Tech X easily, we could gain uh, another useful item easily. You know, we don't have to find it in an item room. Like, every six rooms, we get the opportunity to just press, like, the, the active use button and we're good to go, you know? Like bomb bag, for example. This is of such pivotal importance. Okay, now I'm I'm ready to go. This um, you probably could not manufacture a more annoying boss if she actually got a chance to attack. Oh, uh, hero's medallion. Luckily, she didn't get a chance to attack, so we got a, a small range upgrade followed by um, a speed upgrade. Lovely. I uh, I still in in my heart of hearts, okay. I believe sincerely, dude. Just get toasted here. Um, we're. They, I don't know what exactly what's going on on this room, but I do know if we take our time, I think we're going to be totally okay. Um, I believe in my heart of hearts, in the power of this run, all we need is... Uh, if we make it to the beast, I'm not suggesting guaranteed zero damage incoming, but I do think that with Psyfly, there's only a few attacks that can hit us, and I have been hit by every single one of them. Uh, there's no question there. Why would you just walk on the creep? You know, you know why I walked on the creep? And I'm not, I'm not blaming anybody but myself here. I walked on the creep because I haven't used a decap attack in a while. And I thought to myself, hey, maybe we'll use decap attack. And then, after using it and seeing uh, the clutter on the screen from... All of my familiars, and then also, I, I think we've got Quince right now. Like, it's just, it's messy. Are we done? We are done. Oh my god. Uh, and then I just got overwhelmed, and I, I stepped on the creep because I forgot about the fact that I would become, you know, a, a land-dwelling creature instead of an air-dwelling creature as soon as I touched my head there. So, I, I, blame, I blame myself, don't get me wrong, but I, I blame myself... Uh, mostly for for looking at the court of public opinion on that one. All right, what are you doing? Panic E. That was a panic E. I will. <laughs> That's a great choice. <laughs> I was gonna be like, oh, you know, little Bumbo. He's not that bad, or whatever he's called. Uh, Mini Monstro. I don't know. But uh, yeah, uh, a little bit better, I would say. I will take this. It's probably conjoined now. It, at some point, you just got to bet on that being the reality. Um, we know this. I don't remember what it is. It's I can see forever. That's not so bad. I knew it was good. In my head, I had the, the association of it being good. There's a bomb. Bomb for a bomb. The dang, the dang dicky. Well, Holy Mantle and Sci-Fly makes this like one of the best runs defensively that you could ever ask for. I would love to, to do a little gambling there. It's just not conducive right now. I mean, I, I know it seems like I'm complaining on this one, but it, okay, that's pretty good. Really, the only thing I'm complaining about is uh, our actual base stats, if you take away the Lemmington abilities. I wouldn't even say they're low, but they're they're not super impressive. Even with Lemmington, you know, we have six damage. That's not... It's not particularly amazing. We got some tier effects that are quite nice. But we got a ways to go until we're... Uh, it, we got a ways to go until we wouldn't have to rely on uh, the items that we have from Lemmington to help us. So that that's just my... My eventual goal would be that we get there. I don't know if it's ever going to happen, but here we are. No second secret room. Okay, now we got a lot of boss fights in a very short amount of time. <laughs> but, do I never mind what I said earlier, actually it turns out our damage is incredible. And I'm a big baby. 
Um, well, okay, so that boss rush essentially should be closed right now. Doesn't matter what we take, but I actually think the invincibility probably matters more to us. Forget boss rush. We, we, we're not going to walk in there just to walk out. I don't, I wish not to be tempted. I mean, that's, that's pretty great. It's our damage at, at one end, but it's also, uh, I mean, Sci-Fly was just doing some unbelievable work there. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm now, I, I, I'm a believer. I'm a believer. Maybe even a believer on this run. I can see forever. I can also see forever. One of the, I mean, this is, Tainted Bethany is just a great character. But I will say, um, like, this is a, and, and this is not complaining, this is just an observation. We have had, like, almost no deal with the angel, deal with the devil access, despite earning them all. I haven't really been paying close attention, but I would say usually when you get one deal with the angel, it's highly unlikely you will never get another one for the rest of the run. We did have that devil deal, I remember, that we didn't take, but... Still, I feel like this is a, a little... A little unlikely. So, we, you know, we, we have a 100% chance on this floor. Which actually vindicates me, because, you know, you only get a 100% chance if the odds beat you a couple times in the past. Ah, uh, that's pretty good. The, you know what, just for that, I'll say thank you, game, and I'll, I'll come in here and we'll try to do this. And look at that, for getting a Lemmington charge, we uh, are going to increase our chances of getting another Lemmington charge. It's the only time in my entire life I've, I'm like begging for the location through text of a of an active item. Most of the time, I would rather they didn't exist. <laughs> well, that's probably the rudest way possible to phrase that. But decap attack. I mean, there's got to be there's got to be a reason for it. This item has to do something positive at some point. Please. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god. Come on, man. Come on. Flashbacks to the, the first ever Binding of Isaac episode, or maybe it was like the third, where I didn't realize that the guys, uh, like the Stonies, or no, they're not called Stonies, I can't remember, but the the, the helmets that you get sometimes by, by blowing up a, a skull, not realizing that they uh, won't activate as, as you're shooting them. And just sitting there for like 10 minutes being like, oh, I think the game's bugged. <laughs> uh, -huh. uh, okay, hold on. Judgment. Um, that's, uh, a, a good judgment for me to poop on. Excuse me. Excuse me, I'd, I'd very much like to... There we go. And the stars. Oh, pop it? Yeah, I was gonna say, I mean, hey, look at that. That's a high-quality stars card for us. It probably saved us, like, uh, 45 seconds of walking. You might say that's not worth that much. I actually agree. Can I tell you something? One of the things that annoys me a lot, um, and it's not everybody, but you ever drive with somebody, or maybe you are this driver yourself, who will spend, like, um... 20 minutes looking for the perfect parking spot so that they don't have to walk two minutes to get into the store. If you have mobility issues, this is not in reference to you. I must bake that caveat in in advance. Okay, that's insanely great. <laughs> Every once in a while, though, you'll just be like, you know, maybe your friend's mom is driving you and your friend to the mall or something like that. There's a, you know, an easy parking spot that's like, a few hundred feet from the mall. I hate this because I can't even see my character, so I'm just going to leave. Um, and you're like, that's fine. And then she's like, no. If I have to park far away from the mall, that means that the mall has defeated me and the other drivers have as well. It's crazy. It, like, my... It, it changed when my, wife, when my wife was pregnant, for sure. And now that we have a stroller... I'll, I'll fish a very little bit. You, you know by default when a parking spot sucks, you know? 
You can barely fit into it. It's like super, it's got like the shopping cart return right next to it. So there's like a 90% chance your car is going to get dinged. You know, those are the ones you'd prefer to stay away from whenever possible. Um, but before that, and, and even now, like if I'm driving myself someplace solo, I would much rather, I, I pretty much, barring an empty parking lot situation, I'll park in one of the first slots available, and then I just kind of enjoy the walk up to the front, man. You know, admittedly, maybe you could say you, I, I got too much time on my hands or something, I don't know. But, uh... I got nothing against... I, I kind of enjoy the, the little anticipatory walk up to the... Up to the shops. You know, you get a chance, you, you're outside. Not always the best thing in the in the wintertime or... You know, this... Uh, apparently this weekend, uh, it's going to be like 38 degrees Celsius here, which is... Uh, unseasonable, let's put it that way. It's going to be quite hot. In those situations, maybe I would uh, I would value the walk a little bit less, but I'm telling you, like, for now, I, I value the walk. You can tell I've run out of things to talk about. I'm just waiting for this run to reach its logical conclusion. I'm not willing to take a bomb, or uh, to take a pill, I should say. I, I think I am willing to just fight for it, though. Okay, we, we have an actually awesome run. Sci-Fly... Um, Incredible rate of fire, mostly because of quad shot. And then the booger tiers have like a compound interest factor on top of that, right? So we're going to win easily. I would say this makes up for the uh, the first run not giving us a key over the course of two floors. I feel like I, 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 no, longer have, I, I no longer feel offended by that. I think you're already dead. Yeah, okay, that, that might be the fastest we've ever done that. <laughs> I'll take it. Look at that. All right, Beth's essence has appeared in the basement. Chunking them down. Really starting to get there. Uh, only some of the hardest characters remain, and then a few more will knock out ASAP. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, click the like button. Helps it a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. And follow me, twitch.tv slash Northern Line. You can see all the live gameplay, including games that are not Isaac. I'm live uh, every weekday, 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Apart from that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See you.